Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this quick guide showing you how you can complete time trials from August 20th until August 26th. Starting off with the RC time trial, for this one it's going to be all about throttle control and making sure you don't go too fast. You have about 5 to 10 seconds to spare, so really what you want to be doing with this one is making sure that you don't go too fast. Which sounds odd to say inside of a time trial, but it is unfortunately very much true. I'm leaving in some of the uh, minor errors that I made to kind of prove the point that you can just really take your time with this one and you should be more than fine. The main issue you're going to have with this one is the amount of bumps and stuff that there are within this time trial. So for that reason, if you ever go over a bump, make sure to let go of your acceleration so your RC Bendito can actually handle it. Other than that, it's not really a very difficult time trial at all, so you should be more than fine. It should be noted though that if you want to do this time trial, obviously you're going to need an RC Bendito for this. So if you don't have one, then don't bother. Moving on to the regular time trial, this one is, well, very easy actually. It really just comes down to going in a straight line with your Betty 801, and that's it. You have 15 to 20 seconds to spare, so even if you don't have a fully upgraded Betty 801, I'm sure you even will be able to do this. Even with other vehicles, you can very easily do this too. I remember even doing this in an iMorgan, which, uh, well, it doesn't necessarily have the highest kind of top speed, so... Any vehicle will probably do with this one, you most likely won't really need a lot of top speed for this. Really, the best way I can give you tips with this one is just keeping an eye on the traffic and making sure you don't hit any of that, especially if you are on a bike. And other than that, it's really just following a waypoint that you can set for yourself, because the route itself isn't all that much special. There are a few things where you can shave off of some few seconds that I'm showing in the footage, but other than that, it really isn't a difficult one. But before I go, obviously, if you want to hear the raw footage so you can hear what I'm accelerating and braking and that sort of stuff, they'll be in the description down below. But other than that, that was it for this one. Thank you also very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, if you found it useful. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.